Hollywood Boulevard and its long dead stars, some that I recognize, some that I hardly even heard of, are frozen in pink terrazzo tiles encased in black marble. They are a contrast in a part of town known for hope and despair. Outside the theater, a hopeful down-to-earth girl in jeans, t-shirt, and hoodie danced a maypole dance intertwining her friends, all the while joyously shouting, Calexico, Calexico, a refrain I would later join in the soon-to-be darkness of the power-dead Henry Fonda Theater. Having never seen the old country mariachi rockabilly band in 15 years of their existence, I was lost in the desert, dying of a live music thirst for the song Alone Again Or. The haunting melody had settled into my hopeful soul that at long last the despair of never having seen Calexico was over. Thursday night, God's wind momentarily dimmed the stage lights on the Book of Mormon at the Pantages Theater, while down the street at the Henry Fonda, the lights were out. Was this a wake for Kenny? So began the waiting, and the waiting in the darkness, broken only by a torch-lit announcement which couldn't be heard where it was being given, offering a fantasy of hope that Calexico would be able to perform. In a quick moment it began. Numerous cell phone displays lit the stage as the crowd surged forward and the band stood above them. Without any further warning, the band began to play as I rushed the stage. much everybody we're really sorry you know it's an act of nature but we'll be back and we'll promise to bring lots of friends and we're gonna have a kick-ass party next time right <laughs> As I got into the car looking west on Hollywood Boulevard, the lights of the Pantages Theater illuminated the street. A second later, the power returned east of Gower. I knew I would go to San Diego. I just knew it because I like the belly up, I like Solano Beach, and I like the unkept hairy crowd that always seems to turn up there. I should have left for San Diego immediately and spent the day wandering North County for quiet adventure. But instead I went home sleep, to wake, to work, and to drive to Solano Beach later that day. How big a deal could it be? While driving south on the 5, 5 o'clock became 6, and 6 o'clock became 7. I wasn't even in San Diego County by 8. I pondered how I could miss dinner and seeing the band again. God was smiting me. But eventually Moses or Kenny, or the highway patrol, parted the sea of cars so I could hit the gas and drive 55. With a local friend at hand, I entered the belly up just after nine.
this is John Convertino on the drums, right? Yeah. On the bass from Tucson, Arizona, Ryan Alfred, let's give it up. Yeah. On the keyboards and the Wayla ukulele playing with a nice sweater. Also on the baritone guitar, Sergio Mendoza. Squeeze in the squeeze box. Pumping the trumpet. Fluffing the cupcakes all the way from Berlin, Mr. Martin Bank! All the way from Tucson, Arizona, Jacob Allen's way on the trumpet machine. Beautiful montañas. Lead sideburns and guitar, Mr. Jairo Zabai. <laughs> Thank you. 